Just recently, NASA made headlines when they released a startling image they captured in Jupiter's clouds. The cloud formation eerily resembles a distorted human face. Maybe this is an actual face, or perhaps this is an example of the phenomenon known as pareidolia, or the tendency to perceive a specific, often meaningful image, such as a face, in a random or ambiguous visual pattern. Have you ever noticed faces all around you, in everything from wall outlets to trees in the forest to clouds in the sky? Does it sometimes feel like inanimate objects are watching you? Well, you are not crazy and you are not alone. Most people experience pareidolia quite frequently throughout their life. But why does this happen? Well, scientists aren't sure, but there are theories. The most prevalent theory is that we see faces as a survival technique. As the famous American astronomer Carl Sagan wrote in a 1995 book called The Demon Haunted World, quote, As soon as the infant can see, it recognizes faces, and we now know that this skill is hardwired in our brains. Those infants who a million years ago were unable to recognize a face smiled back less were less likely to win the hearts of their parents and less likely to prosper. This illustrates the evolutionary need for humans to recognize faces. As humans left the caves and began wandering the earth, the need to recognize predators' faces in the trees and landscapes became a literal matter of life and death. Today, we demonize people who dislike or are afraid of people who look different. We would call them a racist. But in the earliest days of mankind, the days of hunter-gatherers, Staying within one's tribe was likely a key to survival, and the mere sight of someone different could spur violence. Thankfully, the human race has evolved, at least to some extent, to the point where we typically no longer have to watch out for predators when we leave the house to go grocery shopping. So perhaps when we see a face inside the oncoming tractor trailer or in a group of trees on a hillside, it's because we are still subconsciously watching out for predators or threats. This is our dormant urge to recognize threats in the wild showing up in our everyday lives. Another theory is that our eyes and brain take in such an overwhelming amount of information constantly that our minds are simply trying to make sense out of all the chaos. We perceive things that are familiar, such as faces, as a way of not going mad thanks to sensory overload. People are particularly fascinated with seeing objects and faces in the clouds. But why is this? It could simply be that people have always looked towards the sky with a sense of wonder and unknown. Now that we as a civilization know so much more about deep space, our mind still tries to find wonder by seeing images inside the clouds. Our fascination with the sky could also be our long history of watching alien invasion films and giant monster stories. We all have images in our minds of alien spaceships in the sky, or Godzilla or King Kong lumbering over a skyline. Clouds tend to invoke similar feelings of fear. Many people have reported seeing massive clouds and instantly imagining how they might feel if that cloud were a sprawling spaceship or a giant monster. On the other end of the spectrum, many religious people and spiritual people may look at the sky and see images of God and his promise to return down to Earth one day. People have even reported seeing images of loved ones or messages from dead relatives in the clouds. These images bring about feelings of peace instead of fear. Finally, here is a wild theory. What if the faces we see in nature or inanimate objects around the house or even the sky are actually a conscious form of attempted communication from other conscious life forms? What if the face we see in the toaster is a desperate plea for us to not burn another piece of toast? What if the face smiling at us on the front of a Volkswagen Beetle is a gentle warning to get out of the way? 
Or what if that creepy face caught on camera by NASA is actually the planet of Jupiter's way of sending a conscious signal to Earth? Perhaps other entities in the universe are trying to communicate with us by reflecting their take on the human image back at us. At the end of the day, we might never truly understand why we tend to see faces and images in landscapes and everyday objects, but it is a fascinating phenomenon that may have deeper implications for our existence and the existence of other consciousness around us than we realize. But what do you guys think is the explanation for pareidolia? Do you think it's just a phenomenon of the human brain, a survival instinct, or something else altogether? Let me know what you think in the comments, and let's discuss it. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. For more content, check out darkfictionfactory.com. Until next time, keep an eye out for creepy faces, and take care.